Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Where's your toy? Come on. Bring it back. You gotta bring it back. Come on. Yo, what's up, Jonah? Isaiah, what's up? Connie, Alex. I love how you guys all pop in at the same time. So cool. Franklin, come say hi to your friends. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Just a FYI, Franklin hit 20 pounds, guys. He's officially in the 20 pound club. He's getting huge. I have the camera zoomed in because my tripod is visible if I zoom all the way out. I don't think anyone wants to see the butt of my tripod. <laughs> Mandy playing the Franklin song in her head, that's awesome. Oh, you at the plaza, Alex? That's what's up. Franklin, I'm gonna release all your chickens, buddy. Yeah, so check it, guys. At 150 viewers today, we're gonna open that door right there and we're gonna release all the chickens and all the ducks on Franklin. We'll see what he does. Yeah, dude's a beast. Come say hi. Come say hi. I should probably flip the camera around so you guys can see. Let's do that real quick. What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. How's that? Oh yeah, it looks pretty good right there. That looks good. Franklin, come say hi. What's up? Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Get it. Get it. Good boy. Sit. Ah, uh, sit. Good boy. Go get it. Yeah, he's got it down. We're working on it, guys. We're working on it. Carly, no one's gonna put you in timeout, Carly. Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? We got big dreams in here. What's up, Santos? Jeff, what's up? Damn, we got some big names in the chat, guys. Big names. Hat forward or hat backwards? What do you guys think? Hair still looking wild. Haven't gotten a haircut yet. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna let that thing grow. Yeah, his paws are huge, guys. He's got some mitts on him, for sure. Naomi, Naomi's new. Everybody say hi to Naomi. What's up, Naomi? Just chilling with Franklin. I'm about to release all the chickens. Once we hit 150 viewers up there, I'm gonna release all the chickens. No, I can't say your name on here, bro. <laughs> I can't say your name on here, but what's up? What's up? You know I'm talking about you. Big Roger, what's up, guys? Yeah, Cynthia, Franklin's huge. So proud of that little guy. We thought he was gonna stay tiny forever. We thought he was gonna stay under 10 pounds. But nope. His nuts also dropped. I've been telling everybody, I'm so excited. I didn't think he was gonna have nuts and uh, his, his little peas finally dropped, guys. So uh, that's a huge, that's a huge, huge win for Franklin. What's up, Clara? What's up? Release him, he's ready. We only have 105 though. I said 150. Franklin, come here. Come here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Ah, oh. what's up, my buddy? What's up? Look, he's so soft now. He's so handsome. We comb him every day. We give him a bath every week. Uh, he has gotten very much accustomed to indoor life, for sure. 
Franklin thrives. Franklin thrives. Franklin Hooper thrives. Hooper is, is his middle name. We'll, we'll place that there. We thought it, it sounded beautiful, so we went with it. Yep. Yeah, he is a happy guy, guys. Such a happy guy. Look at that big old ponce on him. He's got, the, he's got the little cow prints. He looks like a little cow. Definitely a Pyrenees. 100% Pyrenees. Well, I don't know if it's 100% Pyrenees, but he's definitely got Pyrenees in him. I bet he ain't, he ain't even sick. Not anymore, guys. Not anymore. He is 100% healthy. He was, he was really sick, though. He was super sick. We actually... There was two days where we didn't think he was going to make it. He was only getting worse, and it wasn't looking good. Will had just taken him to the vet. The vet said nothing was wrong with him and put him on some medication. Didn't even put him on medication. He put him on barium. I don't know why. I don't know why that vet has to put everyone on barium. But he, all he did was put Franklin on barium. We did not continue giving it to him. Um, he was not vomiting, so there was no point to give him barium. He was having regular bowel movements. He was just sick. He was really, really sick. And we nursed him back to health with chicken broth, guys. Chicken broth and veggies. We made him like the best chicken soup for a week straight and little dude got healthy quick. Will never use the stove he built him. Tell him to do a giveaway. How about I just take it from Will, Alex? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go snag the stove if Will doesn't use it and uh, I'll, I'll use it, bro, I promise. I'll cherish that stove more than anyone, I promise you that. Alex is a big homie. Yeah, everybody say hi to Alex. Big homie right there. If anyone in this world wants that stove, it's me, bro. Yeah, I would, I would really, really, you know me, you know me. I'd find a place for that stove, 100%. But I'm sure we will use it somewhere. We'll incorporate it at the mountain, dude. I promise. You guys see the snow coming down? It just started snowing right now. Speaking of the wood stove and the snow and all that. Yeah, yeah, big dreams. Uh, Lady Lucky, Lady Lucky the nurse. Uh, huge, huge reason why Franklin is back to health. She is definitely the the one to, to turn to in the family if, if anyone's sick or not feeling well. She's nursed so many different animals back to health, guys. I couldn't even begin to tell you all the different animals that she saved. She's, she really is amazing. So shout out to Lady Lucky. She's the best. Franklin, get back here. Hold up, guys. He just took off. Franklin just took off, and now the gate opened. I got him. I got him. We're back. We're back. Ducks are calling. I know. I know. I'm going to let them out, guys. I'm going to let them out for sure. Oh, we're job viewers, though. As soon as we hit a hundy again, I'll let them out. Ah, Alex and Ro call with the welding videos lately. That's so awesome. I need to get me a welder. Dang, we dropped to 77. Franklin, the stream needs you, buddy. Come here, Lightning. We're dropping viewers. We need to get some cuteness on camera. Watch, now we're gonna get back up to 100. Tell them, Franklin, say, hey, I wanna play with my chickens and my ducks. Can you please, please get us back up to 100? Please, please, please. Oh, see, it's working. We're at 85. What part of Texas am I from? I'm from West Texas, West Texas. But I've been everywhere. I've been all across the state. Ah, Franklin and the Ducks are, are huge homies. Big friends. Oh, so I see the chain in the video. I got a chain for Franklin, guys. It's just a little too big for him right now. But here pretty soon, probably in like a month or so, it'll fit him good. And we're going to throw a chain on this guy. 
All right, you ready? You ready to play with your chickens, buddy? Let's go. And there they go for all the grass seed. I forgot we put seed out there. I should probably put them back in. That was not a smart move. Wifey, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <coughs> all right, Franklin, let's get them back in. Let's get them back in, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get these chickens back in now with all the seed out here in the lawn. That was a bad move, guys. That was not smart at all. I should probably spray them with water. That might work. Let's go, let's go, back in, back in, come on, come on, come on. And I, I didn't think I was gonna catch this one so easy. I caught the escape artist here. What should we name this girl? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Hi, everybody. What should we name her? Really pretty. All black. Clucky. They wanna name you Clucky. What do you think about that? I'll do a black. I'll, I'll do a backflip at 1,000 likes. So you get that like button to 1,000. I'll do a backflip. Pennywise. We got Mickey. Oh, Mickey's a good one. I like Mickey. I, 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 that's that's uh, number one so far. Blackberry. That's a good one too. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, let's go. Franklin, you're not doing your job, buddy. You have one job out here. Hey, come on. Get, get, get. Hey, come on.
All right, I'll leave the ducks out. The ducks could be out. Jesus, what a mission. Yeah, the ducks are used to being out here. They're gonna eat a little bit of seed, but I think they'll just mostly chill in the pond. I have a pond for them right there, so they'll probably just chill. <laughs> Putting them away and giving them a bath, yeah. Have you invited Will to my place? Yeah, he's been here a few times. We watch the Super Bowl here, guys. Did you guys see Franklin though, wrangling up the chickens? He was doing such a good job. I know he he fell asleep at first, but then he got he got the hang of it. He was he was doing his job. Black Betty or Pepper. Those are both great names. I'm I'm kind of leaning towards Mickey though. But there's three black chickens in there, so uh Pepper. Pepper might make it. I like Pepper. Yeah. So we got Mickey and Pepper. Houdina. <laughs> Oh, thank you. They said you're cute, buddy. They said you're cute. Tyson, that's messed up, Starlight. <laughs> but funny, I like it. I'll probably name the one I don't like the most, Tyson. I'll name one Pilgrim. I'll name one Colonel. Oh, you're new to the channel, that's what's up. Welcome, welcome. Great vibes on the channel here. A lot, a lot of great people in the chat too. Shout out to everybody in the Lucky Fam. There's the, there goes the ducks. Franklin, go say hi to your ducks. I showed you guys inside of this wooden tower, right? I know I've posted videos about it, but oh, you know what? We have new people in, in the chat. Check it out, guys. This is my, my uh, baby tower. This is where we keep all of the baby animals. The nursery is another great name for it. So, in here, immediately greeted by rabbit kisses. Those are our mama buns. And then the baby buns are up here. They're super cute. They have windows up there so they can see out. They're never bored. Super happy, healthy rabbits. They get pretty much unlimited feed and water. And then down here, we got one crazy one. But down here, we got our little chickies. There's a bunch of little chickies underneath. You see them all down there? Yeah, so they're... They're just now learning to jump up onto the top platform, which is good. Gives them more space to run around and stretch their legs. But uh, yeah, a few of these chicks are going up to the cabin. We're going to give some of these chickens to Will and Jesse. They're going to have eggs at all times. How many ducks? We only have three ducks. I'll show you the ducks here next. Let me close this up though, because the rabbits will jump out. They see that green grass coming up. They will jump out. And uh, we are gonna let them out. The, the rabbits will have free range of the yard, but uh, we just need to get the yard finished first and get the grass growing and train the rabbits because they're little babies. So we gotta slowly introduce them to the yard. There's the ducks right there. There's Franklin. Tell you a country to edit. How about the Netherlands? Cause my buddy, Mart uh, Josek, the guy that makes all my music, he's from the Netherlands guys. Really, really cool dude. So there's the country for your edit. Do I eat duck eggs? Yeah, 100%. Duck eggs are delicious. They're good for cooking, uh, frying. They're great for baking. If you want to bake a nice cake, duck where it's at for sure. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. What's up? Looks like they need food and water. Who? The ducks? They literally are eating all of my grass seed. I think they have plenty of food. 
the chickens are fed. They got a big old feeder in there and a huge water tank, so they have food and water. They just like to stretch their legs, so when they when they see that door that the door open, they make a, a mad dash, you know. Feed the tower. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone in the tower needs food. Um, let's do that. That's actually what I was gonna do on the live. Let's go do that real quick. Cincinnati in the house. Who we got in here? What parts of the world are in our chat today? Can you see the cage on the left? You talking about this thing here, the chicken coop? I'm not opening that chicken coop. There's a whole bunch of chickens in there and they will fly out. So I'm not gonna open that again. You guys got to see the chickens. Minnesota, Illinois, Alabama. What's up, Arizona, damn. We gonna hit all 50 states in this line? Bunch of Texas, Florida, New York. Ooh, we got a local here, Debbie, local from Rio Rancho. What's up, Debbie? Ohio, Canada. God loves you guys too. Outer space. Nicole's in outer space right now, guys. Crazy, crazy. We got Cuba, Cali, Indiana. Dude, you got fans all over the world, Franklin. I don't even know if you know that. Like, do you do you understand? That you're more popular than me? Do you, do you not? It, it doesn't does not register to Franklin how how popular this little guy is. It's cool though, cause if he knew how popular and how handsome he was, uh, it'd probably go to his head, you know. So don't tell him. Nobody tell him. Cover his ears. Cali, Cali in the house. We got St. Louis, Alaska, of course. Bunch of Alaska. South Africa, Cape Town. Dang, that's awesome. Franklin is the chillest, guys. The chillest. You guys wanna see a bunny? You wanna see my bunny? I'm pretty sure we named this one Ozzy, right? Whoa, 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 Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Set it down. Sit down, my guy. Yeah, this is Ozzy. He's got the goth rocker eyes. Look at him. He's crazy. Don't mess with Ozzy. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we got to start holding them more. And getting them human trained. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. You all right? All right. There you go. Give him a nice comfy place to put his head. Now he feels a little bit safer. Ozzy. Oh, you name your Sphinx Ozzy. That's a perfect name for a Sphinx too. Does Ozzy eat bats? Not yet, but once he gets bigger, he might give it a crack. Definitely loves heavy metal music. All right, who's next? Who's next? Here's one of the mama buns. They're super duper sweet and super duper chunky. Look at that little cheek right there. So chunky, but they're, they're such sweet rabbits, all of them. We love all of our animals, so they're really tame and really calm. I think they, they can sense the love, guys. Animals have a feeling for that sort of thing, so. Yeah, they can sense the love. They can sense when they're being hunted. Or if there's tension or stress. They're really amazing. Do rabbits change their sex when they get older or something? I don't think so i don't think it's a common thing i think it's possible but i don't think it's very common but i don't know i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure do we eat the rabbits nah nah we wouldn't eat our rabbits we tried guys we tried to raise a bunch of different animals to eat and every time it comes down to the butcher we just can't do it
All right, that's how we feed the rabbits. We got an automatic feeder. It lasts them about, I don't know, three or four days. And then for the two big rabbits, we just give them a bowl and it works pretty well. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Connie. Appreciate it. Can you name them? It's all over. Oh, once you name them, it's all over. Exactly, exactly. We've even tried, we've, we've tried to name like our chickens after meals, like roast and uh, chicken soup. And like, it just, it just doesn't work. You can't name the animals. You can, I, I just can't, even if we didn't name them, I couldn't butcher the animals that we raised. Hunting's a little different. Uh, I can hunt and eat a deer. Still f would feel bad, but uh, it's a little bit easier. Yo boy, Alex, what's up? You're new, welcome to the channel. A lot of new people today, that's really cool. Have you met Franklin yet, Alex? He is our yard guardian dog because he's not, he's not quite big enough to protect livestock. So he's our yard guardian dog, our chick guardian dog. What color rabbits? We just have the browns and then the black and whites up there right now. That's it. Ooh, we got a message deleted. Roger, I seen your message, bro. Uh, I support everybody. I'm not against any, any, anyone at all, at all. So many amazing people in this world. Slay's birthday, happy birthday, Slay. Yeah, there's so many amazing people in this world from all different types of backgrounds. And yeah, yeah, I, I support everybody. And I think everyone should pursue the life that they want to live and whatever makes you happy, you should go for it, for sure. Lucky Thrives is blowing up. Not quite yet, not quite yet, but we're working on it, guys. Slowly but surely. I'm not trying to blow up overnight. I like the organic growth. I like to meet every single person as they join the Lucky Fan, like I'm doing right now. We got a bunch of new people popping in today and I get to say hi to each and every one of you instantly. So yeah, I'd much rather grow like that than a viral video, you know? You're new here? Did you miss something? I don't know, that's, that's contradictory. How would you know if you miss something if you're new here? You want to start an OnlyFans? You should do it, man. Go for it. A lot of money in that, and I heard. I wouldn't do it, but if that's your dream, do it. Oh, you're new to the lives, but not the channel. Well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot. I'll answer whatever questions you want to get you caught up if you're behind. Or just do what Big Dreams just said and just go back and watch all my videos. I promise they're good. And they're only getting better, guys. I am uh, working on my editing and getting better and better every day. Look, now you can see my face a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, working on it. Improving every step of the way. A lot of credit goes to you guys. Thank you for keeping me motivated on this journey. When's my birthday? In June. My birthday's in June. My dog is nice, but what do you think of your dog? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't met your dog. But uh, I love all dogs, I love all animals. I don't discriminate. What kind of dog? He's a Pyrenees mix, we're not sure what he's mixed with. Not sure. Does the ring on my necklace have any significance? Yeah, it's my wedding ring, guys. So my wife got me this, this is the ring I Got from her five years ago when we got married. We've been together for 15 years. Um, I wear it around my necklace right now because I'm wearing my silicone ring. This is my daily driver, I guess you can say. She just got me this for my anniversary uh, a few weeks ago. We're, we're huge Star Wars nerds, huge Star Wars nerds. And I don't know if you could tell, but this is based on R2-D2. So if I flip this around, it's uh, R2-D2. And then she has a ring that's really, really pretty as well, silicone, because she can't wear like jewelry. She's a nurse, so she has to wear silicone rings while she's at, at her job. 
same for me i needed to wear something that wasn't metal because i'm an electrician so uh that's why we got this ring it's made out of carbon fiber uh it has meteorite moon rock and uh something else but uh yeah this ring is let the camera focus real quick this ring is literally out of this world moon rock meteorite and it's made out of carbon fiber and it glows in the dark really 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 brightly and that's the ring that she got me for our wedding take off my cap you want to see my crazy hair yeah my hair is long look at this look at this crazy long it actually looks decent when i comb it right but yeah i need a haircut for sure for sure my brother drew cuts hair but uh i'm waiting for him to cut my hair up at the cabin i think he's gonna cut my hair and will's hair on the same day so that's the plan he, he just he's playing baseball right now you guys seen him he's seen him on the page i i go to his games and i watch his I, I post a live stream of his games and stuff but uh yeah he's gonna cut my hair up at the cabin no mars rock no mars is too far couldn't get mars in this one soon though soon i like to i like to uh, read the deleted messages l ring l ring you don't like my ring that's all good i love it that's all that matters what animals do i have uh we got a bunch of animals we have uh the ducks of course we have the chickens we have all the rabbits that are in here which i should be keeping an eye on i haven't fed them just yet uh we have all the rabbits here go the ducks and then all the dogs of course we got franklin we got ziggy we got rico we got leia we got Ryder, we got coco Beluga, of course, cannot leave out Beluga. Um, I have a parrot, guys. I don't know if you guys know that, but I have a parrot. His name is Mac. He's a macaw. He's huge. He's uh, big and blue. Beautiful colors. He's crazy. Waiting for the baby cow. That's in the works. We're planning on alpacas and goats and all that pretty soon. Rico. Yeah, Rico's my little Yorkie. I should probably let him out. I might, I might let the Yorkies out here in a second and I'll go grab Mac. I'll bring him out here so you guys can meet Mac, meet Parrot. He's really cool. Yeah, and I have space for everyone. We, we kind of have to, uh, everywhere we move, we have to make sure we have enough space for all the animals. The animals are, are definitely the number one priority in our lives. So that's why we got the mountain. We needed a place like the mountain to, to put all our animals when we moved here to New Mexico. What golf course is my favorite out here? Uh, probably Panderay, but it's burnt right now and it's not kept up. I think they're gonna fix it up soon. So, It's your birthday, English Aviator, that's awesome. Yeah, so Panderay is probably my favorite, but it's uh, not playable right now. Um, I've always wanted to play Into the Mountain Gods. I've seen it a bunch of times. I just haven't had the money to play there. I can't afford it, so. Uh, that's on my list. And then Gene Torres here in Las Vegas. It's a little nine hole course. It's my favorite because I played it a billion times. It's my home course. When I go and uh, register for all my stuff, I mark that course down as my home. Fix my chain, thank you. I'm, I was gonna lose that. Thanks, Jake. I better throw the ring back on there too. No, it didn't break. I took it off. Uh, I have my ring around my neck. I'll show you guys the ring real quick. What happened to the horses? They escaped right before the fire hit the property. Um, they didn't let us go up there and try and catch them because they had the roads closed and they weren't letting people in so They got out. I'm pretty sure they're not dead. Uh, they're, they're probably fine Either they're wild again, which probably what happened. They're, they're so fast and crazy. They were wild a year before we got them So going straight back to that lifestyle would have been nothing for them. They'll be just fine out there There's plenty of water plenty of food So they're probably 90% likely to be just wild and free up in the mountains there's a 10% chance that a farmer caught them on their property and was just like, oh, look at these beautiful horses. And then and now there's a, a farmer taking care of them. So in either scenario, I'm happy about it. I, I think the horses are, are just fine. They are microchipped to us. So hopefully we get them back one day. That would be nice. UNM, I haven't played UNM. I've only played UNM the nine hole course. I haven't played their actual golf course, but uh, I heard, there's a lot of nice golf in Albuquerque that I need to explore. Thanks for stopping by, Taylor. Appreciate it. Do you have dog? I have lots of dog. Lots of dog. 
I have seven dog. Are those bunnies behind me? Yeah. Lots of bunnies in this cage. They won't jump out, I don't think, unless they really are tempted by this grass, but it's not quite long enough yet. Yeah, the fire was rough on everybody, but uh, lucky thrives, guys. Lucky thrives, and the lucky fam will, will survive. We'll make it through. We have already, as you can see. And now we're uh, renovating the mountain. Everything's looking up. Where did I get them from? Who? The horses? We got the horses from the, uh, what is it called? The Forest Service. They were wild, captured by the Forest Service, and they were going to be euthanized. So we saved them. We saved them. Can you sneak into their chicken coop and steal an egg? We should go collect the eggs real quick, and then I'll take the eggs inside, and I'll grab the parrot, and then we'll bring the parrot out here, and we'll feed the rabbits, and then we'll end the live, because I got other stuff to do today. Sorry, I'm looking for a good spot for the tripod. Uh-uh, get back. Look at this ugly chicken. That's a that's a turkey right there. It does not have feathers on its neck. And uh, that's the breed that it is. See it? See it? Weird looking girl. But we're all we're all weird. We're all unique in our own ways. And that's what makes us special, huh girl? But uh, there's our eggs. We got, looks like half a dozen eggs today. Hey, 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 yo! Escapees. Nuh-uh. That was a bad idea, guys. That was a bad idea. Whoever told me to come in here. No, chickies. You should not be out right now. Wifey is planting grass. I don't think that's a real egg. I'm gonna put that. I think this is the porcelain egg. I should mark it with a Sharpie. You girls need some lead and some water. Ow. Ooh, I need some better doors. Oh, I just ripped my jeans. Damn it. I just ripped my nice work jeans. What's up, John? What's up, John? Let me put the phone down real quick. All the chickens are escaping again. Yeah, there's the rip. I just got these jeans not too long ago. And uh, this is why I can't have nice clothes and nice stuff. But we get free eggs at least, so it's worth it. It's worth it in the end. Tell me about them rabbits again. Oh, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got what you're saying. Franklin, what are you eating, guy? You know you're not supposed to be eating random stuff. You already, look at, he, that's his trouble face. Ah, you are in trouble. Stop looking so cute. Stop looking so cute. Why do you have to be so cute? It's not fair, not fair. Look at the little bunnies munching away. You guys hungry? Look at all that golden poop, guys. I know it's nasty, but that is, uh, those are little pellets of gold right there. We throw those in the garden and we have the best garden all year. So nice. Oh yeah, the bird, the parrot. Let me go grab some, uh, what was I going to get? Rabbit feed and uh, the parrot. Let me go get them real quick. I'll be right back.
All right, you guys ready to meet Mac? I don't think you guys are ready. Mac, say hi. Say hi to the people. You have to say something, bro. You can't be shy. He, he's super camera shy. He knows what a camera is. Uh, he'll be yapping and, and singing and dancing. And as soon as I turn the camera on, he just goes quiet every single time. I don't know if the camera gives off infrared or something, but he definitely senses it and he uh, he goes silent. But he's a, he's a huge, huge chatterbox. He loves to talk. Hi. What you doing? It's all right. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, he lets, he lets me see under his wings. He lets me inspect them and check them. Look at how healthy he is too, by the way. He's never ever plucked in the, I don't know how many years we've had him, but he's always been super duper healthy and happy and beautiful. He loves the chickens. He loves to, we actually keep him in the chicken coop during the summer. He likes to be outside. He lived in the bus with us. Yeah. He didn't like that very much. It was pretty cold for him. He's a tropical. We used to call him the tropical penguin. But uh, yeah, he's awesome. His name's Mac, everybody. His name's Mac. Short for Macaw. We actually named him Mac after Mac Miller. He's our favorite artist. So uh, that was another reason why we named him Mac, but it's also short for Macaw. His original name when we adopted him was BG because he's a blue and gold Macaw. So they named him BG which is super cute. I think he, he still knows BG. Hi, BG. Hi. Uh, he, he responds to it sometimes, but uh, he's, he's pretty used to Mac. We've been calling him Mac for years. We have no idea how old he is. No clue. Uh, he's pretty young though. We've seen a lot of macaws out in the zoos and the rescues and they're all much, much larger than he is. So he's, he's fairly young. We don't even know if he's a he, to be honest. He, he might be a she. And I've been... Uh, I just been gender assuming you this whole time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. It's 2024. Yeah, we need to we need to take him to somebody that could sex him. Um, we kind of been waiting to do that. We were gonna take him to a vet to get his nails trimmed and his beak trimmed, and then uh, have him sexed at the same time. But he, uh, we give him enough stimulation that he keeps all his stuff pretty trimmed. He's never needed a trimming in all the years that we've had him. So we've never had to take him to the vet. He's, he's been a happy, healthy bird. Oh, bird. Oh, my guy. You live close to Blue Slide Park? No way. Shout out Pittsburgh. That's awesome. Are those bunnies? Yeah, there's bunnies in there. What's up, peep? Oh, him and Wiz, of course, of course. There's a lot of great artists out of Pittsburgh though, but Mac and Wiz are definitely up there. Definitely my faves, they're in my top 10. Burner as well, I'm a huge Burner fan. I don't know if you guys are aware or know who Burner is, but he's in my top five. Will Survives is in my top five too, guys. He's kind of cold. You see him shaking a bit. Say hi. Don't bite the camera though. Don't, don't bite it. Nope, don't bite it. Just say hi. You can't bite it. They said you're a pretty bird. Who's your pretty bird? Huh? Does he talk? He talks a lot. I was just saying that, I don't know what it is about the camera, but as soon as you get him in front of the camera, he, he goes silent. I think it sends off some type of infrared or, uh, I don't know, but he senses it as soon as you turn on the camera. Like he'll, he'll be chattering. I can have the phone out and he'll still be chattering, but as soon as I hit the camera button, he goes quiet. How old, uh, he's young, probably like five or six, I think. I mean, we've had him for like four or five years and he was, he wasn't a tiny little guy when we got him, but he was definitely a little bit smaller. I'm helping him right now. So check this out. He loves this. If you comb through their feathers, 
you you can usually find one that's not broken you see that oh sorry sorry i pulled it a little hard but yeah he he actually he likes it trust me but there's hairs at the back of his head where the coating is still on and i just break the coating for him and fluff the feather he can't reach back here so it's like getting your back scratched scratching that itch that you can't quite get to you know so this is probably another reason why he's so healthy i help his molting along i help his new feathers come in i keep him combed and uh yeah he's very spoiled guys he eats a lot of fresh fruits and veggies we love cooking in the kitchen he's in the kitchen with us that's where his cage is so he eats everything that we eat as long as it's healthy for a bird he honestly keeps us kind of healthy because we have to buy the veggies and stuff to feed him so we end up eating them ourselves so yeah he keeps us nice and healthy i need to put this guy down though because all of the chickens are out right now they're actually fighting check it out whoa 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 you're good you're good bro whoa 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 he see i'm telling you guys he hates the camera he hates the camera so i'm gonna put him down whoa whoa you're fine it's, it's okay it's not that scary buddy it's not that scary it's not that scary whoa, whoa, whoa you're fine bro you're fine here go to your stand there you go he's got a perch out here yeah yeah see you're you're good look you're just fine. He turned his back to you guys. <laughs> You're funny, dude. Did you see he's trying to laugh now. Rob. <laughs> You're funny, bird. He's not mad, guys. He's in a very playful mood now. <laughs> huh, bird? What you doing, huh? What you doing? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Can I pick up the duck? Yeah, I'll pick up the duck. I'll pick up a duck. Let me get these chickens back in real quick though. And then I'll pick up a duck. I still never fed the rabbits. You guys distract me too much. I'm about to give you guys a quick lesson on ducks as soon as this little ducky calms down. So any guesses? Is this a male or a female, guys? Any guesses? I'll give you 30 seconds in the chat. Get your votes in now. Here, I'll give you a full look, 360 view. Male duck or female duck? Scotch tape says male. Carson says male. Mass Mofo says female. We got some females rolling in. Peep says female. Alex says male. Let me see deployed wing. Deploy your wing, my friend. Deployed wing. What is the sex of this duck? Female, female, male. Jeff says female. Mad Monk says male. It's trans. <laughs> BBC. Hey, 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 settle down. Settle down. Good baby. Good baby. All right. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The voting has been closed. Travi, Patty says it's a it's a guy. Santo says it's a dude, and uh, you guys are 100% correct. This is our male duck. This is our daddy. You can tell by the curled tail. See the curled tail at the back right there. You can also tell by the way that it's uh, quacking. It's very silent. It's not loud at all. You see, it's kind of muted. Yeah. So this is our guy, 100%. Definitely a dude. And this is our girl right here. She's much, much louder. Let's see if I can get her to quack. You gonna say something? Alex, you put loading bars. Does that mean the stream is frozen? I think, I mean, the stream looks good on my end. You hear her, you hear her quacking? It's a little bit louder. Hey, hey. Say something. You gotta say something. You gotta dirty beat girl there you yeah and now you can hear it. it's like a horn that's the typical duck sound you hear out of her and then the tail tail feathers perfectly straight you see that those are all signs of a female right there so yeah she's our female stream's not frozen all right sweet yeah that's how you, that's how you sex ducks when they're older guys all right, all right. oh look at her look at her go look at her go fly my girl fly <laughs> oh, your comments are slow, but I'm seeing them, bro. I'm seeing them. Can ducks get fleas? I have no clue. Can you get fleas, girl? They never had fleas. I think they can get uh, sand fleas. Chickens can definitely get sand fleas because our chickens have had them before. So I'm assuming ducks can get it as well. But they have such a thick, such a thick coat of feathers and down on the ducks. Like you can probably not. I'm sorry, girl. I know this is harassing. I know. I know. I'm going to be gentle about it. I can move all these feathers around and you still can't see to her skin because she's got so much down. But if I grab a chicken. And I know this is kind of cheating because this chicken's half naked already. But, uh, I mean, you can, you can see straight through the feathers without even combing them. And to their bellies, watch. So here, if I move the feathers around on a chicken, you go straight to the skin, straight to the belly. There's not any down on a chicken. That's why you don't get pillows and blankets made out of chicken feathers. It's only down from ducks and geese. This right here, this is a turkin. It has no neck feathers on purpose. She's she's very healthy. It's not like she's malnourished or nothing, but yeah, she's a she's a an oddball for sure. Definitely not as cute as the duck. But uh, you're pretty cute in your own way, huh, girl? Yeah, all chickens are crazy, but they're they're also very sweet. And then the more you handle your chickens, the nicer they are the more tempered they will be. See how she doesn't freak out. Uh, we don't trim our chicken feathers, no. Uh, so they, they, could, they could get out if they wanted to. We don't leave them in the yard like this unsupervised and they haven't figured it out yet. So usually it's not a problem until they figure out how to escape and then it becomes a problem. Then we have to figure out how to block all the fencing off. So Casey has a hundred chickens, oh my goodness. I, I couldn't, we've had a hundred before, it's too much. It's way too much. Turkin, yeah, that was a turkin. Looks like she has a hat on. Oh, you guys should see the Bantams that we've got in the past. They have crazy uh, hair feathers. They're, they're pretty funny looking chickens. All right, ladies, let's go back. Hey, who do you think you are? 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You too, ducks. I gotta do this every single day, guys, after work. I got all these animals to take care of, always. It's a full-time job in itself. Have they all had a party in the basement yet? <laughs> Not yet. The cats, though, the cats have. They own the basement. All right, let's feed these rabbits real quick. Actually, the rabbits are fed now. I just got to give them some water. I got the water at the bottom for the chicks filling up right now, so I'll leave that for 30 seconds or so. Let's send a tribe to my chickens? What does that even mean? You wanna send me more chickens? Is that what you're saying? Oh, Alex, thanks, thanks for, uh, what is that? Pretty Luna, is that your page? Have I ever thought of getting turkeys 100% and then I would just set them free up at the cabin. That'd be so cool. Have the cats ever taken out a chicken or a duck? Uh, not a full sized one, but they have, they've tried to go for the chicks. So we have to be really careful with the cats around the chicks. That's why we raised the chicks inside. And then uh, that's why I built this thing as well. So they have a safe place to be held once they do make it outside. Um, kind of lost Franklin. Franklin! I need to go see if I took Franklin inside. I think I did. I'll be right back. How about, how about we watch some Mac TV while I'm gone? Hey, you be nice, bird. Okay, the people are here. You talk to them. All right, I'm back, I'm back. How did Franklin behave? How did Mac behave? Franklin, what's up little guy? Oh, you guys need, 
you guys need to meet the littles. This is Rico. Remember I talked about Rico earlier. This is Rico. Say hi. He's awkward. He's weird. Just like me. You're a mess too. You're going to get a bath today. Ziggy. Come here, Ziggy. All right. This is Ziggy. He's awkward. He's weird. Just like me. Looks like an Ewok. They called you an Ewok, dude. <laughs> Franklin. Come here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Look at, look at what Will taught Franklin. Watch. Franklin. Franklin. Get him, Franklin. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. That's all Will right there. I didn't teach him. Ow. Ow. Stop. Yeah, he, he'll let go when I tell him to, but uh, he... He gets a good bite now. He tore my jacket the other day. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh, get. Good boy, good boy. Uh, uh, get. Hey, come here. Rico, Rico. You're too crazy, dude. You're ruining all the fun with your annoying ass bark. 44 degrees right now? Yeah, it feels nice. It was just snowing uh, about, I don't know. Dang, I was gonna say like 30 minutes ago, but we've been on live for an hour. Holy crap. It's crazy Yeah, he learned that he learned the arm move from hoop 100% 100% from Will and Hoop Franklin come here. Oh shit the water in the chicken Can you, see, can you guys see the difference in dog breeds here? Franklin is super calm and protects the ducks. And the littles, who are Yorkies, who are trained to go after pests, they're, they're trained to chase like squirrels and mice and rats. They're chasing the ducks and trying to get them. So, and then Franklin is going after the Yorkies because they're a threat to his livestock. So it's just so amazing to see the different dog breeds at work here. So, so cool. And now Rico is marking his territory. Come here. You're annoying, dude. Come here. Come here. You're fine. You're not in trouble. Ow, Franklin. We're not playing right now. Come here. You too. It's chill time. It's chill time. Yeah, it's chill time. Chill and chat time. Am I taking the chicken and rabbit poop to the mountain garden? Yeah, yeah. We took a big load of it already. Um, that's going to be in the new video that I'm dropping tomorrow, maybe. I'm going to drop the video tomorrow, for sure. I'm working on it right now. I, I tried to get editing today, but I was super busy at work. Um, I got the x-ray machine moved, guys. I'm sorry I didn't go live. It was a crazy, crazy mission. I didn't even have my phone. But we got that x-ray machine moved out of the lab, so that's gone. That's done. Dogs are cool, thanks. Everyone liked the live. That's all good. You guys, don't, you, don't, you guys don't have to like the live. I appreciate it, though. Just being here is enough for me. I like to chat with you guys. Speaking of chatting with you guys, I actually had a question for you while I have all of you here. Um, I would really like some opinions on the content. Uh, how is everything going? How Are you guys enjoying what I'm putting out there? Um, I know I'm starting to diversify away from the cabin a little bit. I put some golf content recently. I put that video about my whole week and everything outside of the cabin recently. Uh, so yeah, I would like some opinions on that kind of stuff. Is that okay to post on the page? Um, do you guys like that? And then also I wanted to ask what you guys want to see here coming up. What do you want to see out of me and my content? What do you guys want me to be doing? 
Um, I, I really want some advice on my shorts. I know I've been struggling on producing good short content. So uh, Jeff says he's here for the golf content. That's good to that's good to know. That's awesome. You put your puppy in a short. Was it successful? Uh, my shorts haven't been very successful. I, it seems like Will is the only reason my shorts are doing well. Um, I, I, I don't think that's the case for my content. Um, I, I put a lot of love and time and effort into my into making my videos and stuff. So I think my content is gaining genuine likes and interest, you know. But I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. I want to. I want to add whatever you guys want to see, you know, I'm always for improvement. You, you know me, you know how I am. So always trying to improve my content. So uh, I'm turning to you guys. You guys are the ones watching. I want to make sure you, you're seeing what you want to see. More cabin videos, make the mountain look cleaner. I got you hundred um, percent. I haven't really spent a lot of time up, up at the mountain. I've been so crazy busy, especially now during baseball season. Every single weekend, I try and catch my brother's game, whether he's playing in town or away. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been hard for me to spend a lot of time at the cabin. But, but next month, I'll be on break. It's going to be summer break. I'm going to have like two months where I don't really have to go to work every single day. So I'm going to have a lot of time to be up at the cabin. It's going to be the middle of summer. We're going to be gardening. We're going to be building greenhouses. I'm gonna start the treehouse. This summer's gonna be legit, guys. I promise you. There's gonna be a lot of cabin content coming. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. Uh, it's just hard for me. It's hard for me to to produce consistent cabin content because I I can't really go up there every single day. So, oh, Carly, Carly, Carly's here. Carly got timed out. Even. Hold on. I like to read the block messages too i like to know what the haters are saying ah nothing bad thanks thanks mods thanks for doing a great job you're doing a lot of boxing content that's awesome i i wish i could have seen that yeah thanks for that jeff i appreciate it what's frank doing franklin are you eating that nasty shit come here come here come here franklin he, he, he's in trouble. He knows. He was doing something bad. Come here. Come here, Franklin. He won't come unless I tell him he's a good boy. Should I tell him he's a good boy? Franklin. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> oh, my God. You're a big baby, dude. You're such a big baby. Oh, my God. You found me through the cabin content and stayed for everything else. That's awesome. That's good to hear. I should shave a rabbit uh, when they're bigger and they need it. I will. Keep doing me. That That is probably the best comment that I've gotten so far. And that's the thing that I preach to everybody as well. So I should probably go by my own advice and just be authentic and do what I'm doing and film every bit of my life as I can for you guys. So I think I'm just going to keep doing that. But if you have any advice for me, any ways that I can improve on my editing, um, I, I know I use my lucky intro a lot now and I, I, I'm trying not to make my songs repetitive. I try and change up the music here and there, but uh, I, I, whatever guys, any, any advice, I will hear it and I will try and improve myself on it. I just, I, I really appreciate you though. Thank you for being with me on this journey this whole time, for sure. I wouldn't be this far on YouTube without the lucky fam here on YouTube. So thank you, everybody. When am I going to go live with Will? Um, I don't know. Uh, next time I go up to the cabin, I guess. Me and me and Will went live on Sunday. I don't know if you caught that. But the, yeah, it's on my page. If you want to go back to my live content, it's, it's up there. We played basketball for a little bit. It was snowing pretty hard, though, so we had to leave a little early. Big Roger says everything's great. Keep it up. Thanks. Thanks. I will. I will try, guys. I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying to post something every day. And if I can't post, then I do these lives for you. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to dedicate at least an hour to three hours of my time every day to YouTube and to you guys. Whether that's editing or live streaming or whatever, premieres. Um, that's, that's what you guys are getting out of me right now. One to three hours of my time every single day. So. 
which is a lot. My, my time is super valuable to me. Time is the most valuable thing in the world, far more valuable than money. There's no amount of money that can buy you time, guys. You never know when your ticker's up, so. Time is the most valuable thing on this earth, aside from your family, of course, and your friends, and your pets, and everything that you love, but um, time with them is super valuable, and I, I put a lot of value on my time, or at least I try to. So that just tells you guys how much I care about you. Shorts are where it's at. No edits, just updates. Okay, okay. Uh, I, that's a great comment. I, I really need some shorts advice because my shorts, I feel, are lacking. I haven't figured out how to have successful shorts yet. I, I watch Will's videos, and I wish I could replicate what he's doing shorts-wise with the updates and the, the plans of the cabin and all that. But it's just hard for me to film those shorts when I'm there because when I'm up at the cabin, I want to work on something or I, I'm doing something else. I'm working on the long form content. So I think I need to practice on filming short form content when I'm up there for sure. Phone's about to die. I think my phone's about to die too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head on out here really, really soon. So uh, if you guys got five minutes, any last comments, questions, concerns, feedback, whatever, uh, now's the time. Throw it in the chat. I'm here. I'm sitting down. I'm reading everything. So. All right, Rico the Ewok. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, we call them Ewoks all the time. That's not new to them. They know. Come here, Rico. <sighs> it's my half-price puppy, guys. Wifey wanted Ziggy. We actually went just for Ziggy. And uh, they told us, hey, we have this one. He's a little weird. He's twice as big as the rest of the Yorkies. He's blonde. He doesn't look like a regular Yorkie. Do you want him? We'll give him to you half-price. And uh, of course we said yes. So yeah, we got this little guy half price. Would I let people camp at my mountain for the weekend? Absolutely not. I can't, I can't guys. There's too many liability issues and regulations and the entire mountain's not mine. I only own a little piece of it. So um, I know for a fact that the land owner, the guy that owns the big chunk of land would not go for anything like that. He barely, barely was okay with me having Will out there, but he can't really tell me what I can do on my own land, so. Um, and he's a really cool dude. Like, I'm not saying that in a dick way. He's a really, really, really good dude, really, really cool dude. And uh, he was super understanding with the whole Will thing, and he, he, he he's allowing Will and Jesse and us to do what we're doing up there, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't do anything else. No, nobody else. There's just too many liability issues and other things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. So uh, probably not going to happen. I can't have anyone else up at the mountain. I know everybody's asked me. I've gotten so many emails and comments about that. So just figure I address it right now. Uh, straightforward. It's not going to happen. Sorry, guys. Not even a meet and greet up there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not a possibility right now. Did, did Will exaggerate how small Franklin was going to be? Absolutely not, no. Um, all the information that Will had was based on the information that was given to us by the vet. And the vet said that Franklin was six months old and that he was severely malnourished and that he wasn't gonna survive even a month longer. That's what the vet told us. He said he wasn't gonna get any bigger. It would have been impossible for, for him to get bigger. And all kinds of other stupid stuff that was absolutely false, 100% false. It's been about a month, it's been over a month, and <laughs> Franklin's still alive, and he's tripled in size. Yeah, he was only 9 pounds, and right now he's, a, he's, he's over 20. He's in the 20 club now. Does that hurt grabbing him like that? Absolutely not. No, that's a mama. It's called the mama grab. See, they don't care. I can shake them around. They don't care. But if I go any lower, it will hurt them. If I grab them here, it will hurt them a lot. But if I grab them right behind the neck, nothing. They love it. They're used to it. That's how we grab them. They, there's any other way that we grab them they're pretty fragile so um, that's the preferred method by them uh, they, they told us get that as a short what me grabbing the pup <laughs> I have a lot of I have a lot of informative stuff on my page like the duck stuff that I showed you how to sex a duck uh, me getting the eggs um, all that good stuff I can definitely make into shorts but it's so hard to go back into my live content and try and salvage this footage for a short. 
and then even when I do, it comes in like 720 quality. It's it's not HD. So if you don't put HD quality videos out there, people tend not to watch them, unfortunately. Can you eat duck eggs? 100%. Yeah, 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 definitely. And they're delicious. They're big, um, big old yolks. They're great for baking. Yeah, duck eggs are amazing, and we definitely eat them. Speaking of the ducks, look at they're just chilling in the pond. They love their pond. They're out on the open water right now. Don't look for the short, just make it. I'm making them right now, that's what I just said. Like, it, it comes so naturally when I have the time to sit there and film, but like if I'm actively trying to film a short with a script and like something that I'm trying to do, it just makes it harder. I don't like to do the unauthentic stuff. It's, it's super weird to me. I like to just put the camera down, be on a live stream and be myself, you know, and just do what I do. Yeah, yeah, this yard is a lot of work. The animals are a full-time job, 100%. But it's worth it, guys, it's worth it. You see how happy they are and <laughs> how, how, how amazing each and every one. Just made me laugh right there. Like, it's, it's free entertainment, it's free enjoyment, laughter, joy. The animals are amazing, guys. They are the light of our lives. We, we wouldn't be the same without them. Are there camping spots nearby? Maybe a campground meet and greet? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, there, it, it's, that's a possibility. I mean, we could do something like at the lake. And uh, Story Lake, yeah. That's, I was thinking Story or Murphy. Murphy would be difficult because it's hard to get to. It's a, it's a little New Mexico secret. Not a lot of people know about it. Not a lot of people know where it's at. And uh, the road there sucks. You have to have a special kind of vehicle to get up there. So I'm kind of liking Murphy because only like the really legit, really interested homies would make it up there. So like Murphy would be a good filter to get the people that are truly, truly interested. Story would be a nice venue for a big meet and greet for sure. Um, so uh, yeah, there's, there's possibilities. We could do something in the future. I'm just not ready guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not ready for that yet. Harder to get to the better only true fans. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Do I have a frog? I used to have a few frogs. Um, I used to raise frogs in my pond, but unfortunately we don't live in Texas anymore and it gets really cold here. So Frogs are hard to keep. That service keep will make it. Yeah, I would put a lot on my plate. Uh, a whole other stressful thing that I'd have to worry about. I, I, and I got too much going on right now anyways. I do want to do a meet and greet though, guys. Uh, a meet and greet, guys, though. I promise. Just not ready yet. As soon as I'm ready, I'll let you know. I should get a lizard. I had a snake a little while back. Didn't turn out too good. He escaped. All right, guys. I said five minutes. I've been on for 15. I'm going to end the live here. I'm going to end it with Matt, though. Special guest. It's all right, dude. It's all right. It's all right. He thinks I'm coming for him. He's kind of scared. You got anything to say, Bird? What if I take this away? What are you gonna do now? Any last words, Bird? This is your chance. You gotta say something. Everyone's expecting you to talk. Ah, uh, no, nope, he's not gonna do it. You guys heard him earlier, though. He said a few words. He said, he said something. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have a beautiful day. What's today, Tuesday? Have a beautiful Tuesday evening. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay lucky. And we'll see you tomorrow in the premiere. I'm dropping a new video tomorrow. It's gonna be day 40 something, I don't know. Sunday, pretty much what happened on Sunday when we got snowed out at the cabin. So yeah, it's gonna be a good video. We'll see you guys there in the premiere tomorrow. Peace.